Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Hi, how are you guys? In this vlog, you guys will see a lot of just glowing the F up because we have a lot of beauty self-care appointments this vlog. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me to get them all done. We have getting our hair dyed. Even though we're doing that at home, that's more of a DIY project. We're also gonna get our nails done tomorrow and we're getting our teeth whitened again because I am due for my booster appointment. So we're getting those two things done tomorrow. But for today, Today, we are going to be dyeing my hair at home. My mom's gonna be helping me because my hair is just too dang long. But we're just going black, like black, black. I know you guys are probably like, Michelle, your hair is already black. And I'm like, yes, yes, I agree with that. But I want it black, black. I want it dark, dark. Not only that, but your girl has some gray hairs. That's got to go. And I've been waiting and for a while I didn't care, but it's time. I always get to that point every once a year where I'm like, okay, now it's time. So it is now time. Also, if I can take up your time a little bit just to give you a little bit of a spiel. Let me show you guys how messy my room is right now because it's just clutter on clutter on clutter. I, you know what it is? It's because my space is small. So like little clutters everywhere just causes too much chaos. I have a box that needs to be thrown away. I have stuff that I need to put away. I have clothes that I need to put away. My bedside table, just don't even, don't even look at that. My bed is not made right now. Um, my TV console needs to be cleaned as well. These shoes, oh, I need to take off these stickers before they like stick too long. A lot of you guys commented on my last video where I got these and you guys were obsessed as well. It made me so excited. Then my desk is honestly another place that's very chaotic. And I don't like when my desk is chaotic because it is my other sanctuary other than my whole room. And it is just not aesthetic. Oh my God. I cannot believe I'm even showing you guys this because this is just too messy. I know you guys are sick of me. I'm sick of me too. I have not passed chapter seven. But if you could so kind tell me to keep going in the comments. Maybe that would really, really help me feel supported reading this, you guys. I want to read it. I really do. It's just, if I can't find time to freaking clean my own room, I don't know where I'm going to find time to read this because my brain doesn't want to. No, no. Yes. My brain doesn't want to, but my heart wants to. That's where I'm at. I'm someone who has to take off stickers and labels. I just don't feel like they're mine until you do. Like I will always take off every sticker on every piece of glassware I purchase, any piece of clothing. I don't really care if other people do it or not, but I have to. These are so cute. I can't wait to wear them. Where am I gonna wear them? I have no idea. I feel like the first time I finally get to take them out and wear them is gonna be freaking Easter. I'm currently catching up on work and eating lunch, a super late lunch. It is three. I whipped together the literal simplest sandwich. We don't have lettuce or at least I can't find it. So I made a quick turkey sandwich and I have some green apples from last time and I didn't eat them. So I'm going to eat them. I love the almond butter and caramel mixture from Trader Joe's. It's it's sold separately, but I like mixing it together and eating it with my green apples. It tastes so freaking good. I just washed my hair, so please don't mind my hair in my little towel turban. Is there anything good on Netflix? Shows are coming back, finally. Sweet Magnolias is coming back. I thought it was over, but I think it was because of the whole strike thing that went on. I've been waiting for Bridgerton to come out and I can't believe that they're going to. Clearly they know what they're doing because we're all excited for season three because we're all rooting for Penn. And of course they're gonna split it up into freaking two. I cannot believe they're making us wait. I'm going to pluck my eyebrows. Cause they are out of control. They have no shape. I'm growing a unibrow. It is time to dye my hair. We are in the garage and I don't usually film in the garage, but we're doing this. This is where it all happens. I have Aquaphor all around my head and I mean my face to avoid the dye from getting on my skin a little too much. Jump scare. My hair is developing right now. I'm waiting 40 minutes and then I can rinse it out. Honestly, I probably won't show you the after until tomorrow. It's honestly just black, you guys. It's not that special. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's time to get ready, but I have 
freaking hair dye on the side of my freaking face. So we're just gonna have to figure something out for my hair. Good morning, I know baby. You and I slept all night together. She acts like we haven't seen each other all freaking day. We just walked together. We just woke up together. It is time to get ready. I'm going to water pick my teeth because today is my teeth whitening appointment and I wanna make sure my pearly whites are ready and clean. I'm gonna get ready really quickly. I'll show you guys my hair in a little bit. I know you can pretty much see it already, but I'll show you guys once it's styled because I'm gonna have to cover up my front piece is a little bit because for obvious reasons, but we'll do that later. I did get the La Roche Posay 50 SPF tinted mineral sunscreen. I did really want the color science one. Is it color science or color something? The the one in the blue bottle. I've heard amazing things about it, except my color is out of stock and I'm not trying to try that hard to get it so I'll get it when I get it but for now I'm gonna use this because I don't want to put foundation on because I don't believe in doing like a not full glam but like a full face when I go to the dentist because they're gonna be opening and touching my face and whatnot so I'm just gonna do a super super simple no makeup makeup let's see how this sits on my skin because I have texture and I have pigmentation and even though my skin has come a very long way I think it looks great, but still, we'll see how this sits on my skin. I'm also really excited to use the Benefits Precisely My Brow Detailer, just because I did do my brows. They're looking amazing, so, and even though I don't fill in my brows very much, I do like to fill in just this front area and extend my tail a little bit. I don't really touch like the body of it. I think I'm gonna go in with my hand first. I think I can only go in with my hand, actually. Clean hands only, you guys. Hopefully, this does not break me out because I am not looking forward to that. Okay, I kinda like it for like every day and then I'll just spot conceal. I just finished filling in my eyebrows. Can you guys even tell where? I filled them in. Can you guys even tell where I filled them in? Even though I did tell you where I'm filling them in. How crazy is that pen? Soul. Pencil, sorry, pencil. It's not a pen, it's pencil. I am getting ready to leave. Oh, but my hair is not sitting how I want it to, so just fixing that. This is my hair, you guys. Do you guys see how like more black it is? Just like ink black. Not too much of a difference, but it looks good. I like it. Put some texture in it and had these front clipped up. That's why they're like sitting like that, but there we go. That's better. We're gonna head off, run some errands. I'm sitting in the parking lot. I just got to the dentist. I am so excited for my booster. This is not sponsored at all. Back in December, I got my teeth whitened for the first time at like an actual dental office and it was an amazing experience. I got my teeth whitened with Vogue whitening. I went to high school with her and her sister. Her sister and I are the same graduating class. We graduated in 2012 and their family own a dental office in Huntington Beach called Allure Family Dental. I will leave all of their information down below if you guys need any dental needs, cleanings, cavities, just everything. And then Cassandra is in charge of Vogue whitening. I believe the booster is like 30 to 40 minutes and extremely quick. And it's supposed to just kind of give that extra oomph to keep it white. I went with a package that covers like the regular as well as the touch up. So I already prepaid for the touch up last time I was here. You can talk to Cassandra through Vogue Whitening's Instagram. Her prices are there. So it's extremely easy for you to go in and look at what you like and what you're looking for. I am early. I'm stalling time right now because it's 1.20 and my appointment isn't until 1.30. I also want to mention that if you mention my name at Allure, you will also get 15% off any care that you get done at their place. I just wanted to say that before I go inside because I completely forgot. The sun is out and super bright. 
I'm walking in, you guys. I'm walking in five minutes early because I have nothing else to do. We are inside getting ready. I just started the prep. I have Cassandra here. Hello. She's gonna be helping me. She's in charge of Vogue whitening. I'm gonna let her talk because I have no idea what the heck we're doing. <laughs> so you take it away, girl. It sounds great, awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing um, a 30 minute um, boost session. So Michelle, she came here and she already had the complete session done. And so um, it's actually maybe six to eight weeks from your initial yeah. appointment. So we are doing the boost session just to brighten up her smile and just to make it all nice and bright. Yay! So, all right, we're gonna place on this fancy little gadget here. <laughs> and bite for me, please. Yes, there we go. It kind of just swoops right in. Okay, let's try to do that again. All right, we're gonna cure it just to kind of make the gum protector much more nice and firm so that there be no accidental um, spillage from like the solution. So this is a very strong carbamide peroxide solution. It's 44%. So we're going to do this for 30 minutes, but it's going to be divided up into um, two 15 minute basically rounds. Yeah. So it's normal to feel like a cooling um, effect, but overall it's very, very safe for the enamel. It doesn't cause any um, weakening of the teeth and it's just um, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen peroxide based, so it's very gentle on the teeth. It doesn't like dehydrate the teeth. Hi. Okay, this um, SPF is making me a lot glowier than I need to be, uh, but I feel like it's doing my skin justice. I did powder this morning because it was just, I knew it was not gonna sit as pretty as I thought it was gonna be, but it looks very pretty with powder. This might be my go-to no makeup makeup. This is kinda nice. I will link the SPF down below, but this is my teeth. I'll show you guys my teeth in different lightings. You'll naturally just see the difference. It was amazing, of course. I love visiting them. It is now time to go get my nails done. These babies gotta go. It has gotta be chop chop time. I am sick of having long nails. I can't get with the trend. I can't get myself to do square nails. I just don't have those hands. And girls and boys, do not feel like you need to follow a trend. If in your heart you're like, mm, I don't know, try it out, but it's okay to not like it. Walking out of my nail appointment, my nails look so cute. If you guys are wondering what I did, I got dip, OPI, Lisbon once more, and then a dip OPI um, Love is in the Bear on top of it. Oh my God, so cute. And they're shorter now. Yes, now I can pick my nose. I am stopping at Farmer Boys because I can't stop thinking of that wrap. And I haven't had any food all day because I've been on the go, go, go. And it's now 527. So I'm going to pick this up and eat it at home. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. Hi. Later today, I'm meeting Bianca for happy hour and I am so excited. Today's the day where we put everything together and you guys get to see the final look of the glow up, just everything put together. Nails, teeth, hair. I'm gonna do a full face and I'm also gonna do a red lip. So I will see you guys after I get ready. Oh my goodness, it got so hot while doing my hair because I blow dried it. Um, I blow dried it because I wanted to give like a little curl at the end, just like a little smoother curl instead of like pin straight. Honestly, I only wanted to do the red lip because I was inspired by Kim last time when she wore a red lip and I haven't worn a red lip in so long, but I've been wanting to because I always have loved a red lip on me. So I thought today's a great day to find an excuse to wear red lip. I'm in a black crop top and these, what is it? wide leg pants that I found and my mom had to hem for me from H&M. I don't have links to any of this except for my cardigan because uh, this shirt was just a regular black shirt that I cut and then <laughs> these pants were like, what, a summer and a half ago? So I will try to find something similar, but I don't think I'll be able to find the exact one. I'm gonna head over to Trader Joe's because if you guys haven't seen it on TikTok, they came out with like mini tote bags. I need to go find me some. Hopefully I can find it here because I don't want to have to go to another Trader Joe's. 
No luck, you guys. Had to awkwardly walk out of there. I'm walking back to my car from the second Trader Joe's. They don't have any either. I don't think we got any shipments yet. I am walking over to Yard House. I'm a little early, but I need to use the restroom. I'm home. I'm so tired, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so tired. When I get tired, I get these natural little tiny bags. In Korea though, they actually use eyeliner, like a special type of eyeliner that is like blendable and kind of like, not eyeliner, more like a contour pen that looks like an eyeliner. And they use it to draw a line under and what this is called in Korean is called egg yosa. I don't know why I'm giving you a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, a one-on-one, -on -one, four-one-one? No, a one-on-one. One-oh-one. I think I'm tripping. Anyways, um, this is called egg yosar. And egg yosar, it means like, like cute. Like egg yo is very like cute and like flirty and like mm, very kawaii, you know? I'm gonna wash my face, take off my jewelry, change into some comfy clothes, and then I'm going to have some marinated crab because my mom made some. Because my mom made some, oh my gosh, she makes the best, I swear. This is the best feeling ever, other than taking off your bra. Bald. Mm. Wowzers. So I went downstairs to eat the marinated crab, but unfortunately the meat, the aesthetic of the crab was not really there. So my mom would not let me film with it. So I just had a bowl. You guys saw her squeeze the crab into the rice. I'm going to settle down. I'm gonna turn on my favorite movie, turn on some rain sounds, change the lights to red and knock the frick out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure to like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!